Okay, so here's Chris's code, which you said is just over a thousand lines. Eleven hundred lines of code. Don't worry, eleven hundred lines of code that are well commented. Uh. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, there aren't really that many comments. There are a few, right? Like, okay, so we're initializing a player. We're initializing a bunch of enemy arrays. We're making a bunch of, well, images, right? Textures. And then initializing some, or not initializing, but declaring some menu stuff. And then there's some kind of funny ticks, whatever those do. <laughs> Spicy rice. Okay, whatever. It's a cool font. No, hey. All right, and then in the draw, all you do is call this master switch, and then increment the tick for the enemies, and then oh god, there are okay. So this is yeah. So there are classes for each different enemy type, and then there's the screen control. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, so there's just a whole bunch of guys. That's actually really nice, Chris. Wait, this is super well this. commented. You can, you can we can read them when we play the game, but so these are like the strings that you put on page one, the strings you put on page two, the strings you put on page three. So those are just all the instructions, right? And then there's this switch that looks. So four hundred lines. Yeah, okay, so this is kind of nasty, but it's actually relatively readable, right? It just does, it does some kind of demo of an enemy or something, and then does a bunch of instructions that get pasted, and then there's some kind of like, if you push this button, it goes somewhere, if you push this button, it goes somewhere. That kind of makes sense. Okay, cool, let me just play. Okay, playing one for info on my command. Oh, it's super laggy. Oh, if it's laggy, and it's super I laggy know, because no. the screen that I'm using here is like really pretty high res, and the um, oh, and the gradient is kind of dorky. You can see that even the um, so you can't see this on the recording, but on the projector you can see that oh, the. No. There's a lot of trouble drawing the background. Okay, so tap two. Okay, so there's these little guys that seem to draw. And then there's this little thing that spins around. That's pretty cool. And then there's those things. <laughs> yeah, you can't can't really see this thing, but there's kind of a little blurry thing there. And then, oh, and then there's these little guys. Those things are cool. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Okay, and then they're rotating around. That's cool, right? They're all spinning at kind of different rates. That's really cool, Chris. And this is the thing I really wanted to look at. This took a little bit of math to get working. But that thing, right, is rolling correctly. Right? That's rolling the way that a ball would roll around the gr on the ground. You guys see that? It doesn't look like it's slipping forwards and backwards. It's actually rolling in the exact same way that a ball actually would. Oh, that is a beautiful shot. You guys see that? So he had to do a little bit of math to figure out the the speed to get it to look just right. Okay, and then I hit enter, dude. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, you died. I died. Awesome. <laughs> enter goes back to the game? No, it's just really lagging. Yeah, you're you're hating it right now. Oh yeah, you can look at that. The counter here just skipped five seconds. So Okay. Oh no, there's a little Dude, you can barely see that. On your screen. Just pressing enter. No. Perfect on Chris. Okay, cool. So I know what I need to do because I've played this game on here before. 
I need to turn smooth oh, down oh, to yeah. eight. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and thank you for leaving my test line in there, Chris. Um, some of the some of the collisions might be very just smaller than four hundred by four hundred. Okay. Do you mean it might not work? Oh dear lord. So can I kill those? No. You can kill Oh my god, get the thing away from me. You can't kill them. Yeah, it's slightly faster than you. It's slightly faster than me and I can't kill it. Thank you. Oh god. You can kill those though. Okay, hang on. So I need to do this. Okay, so what I did was I set it so that, okay, so I still can't kill those. I can't see that. <laughs> no, it's definitely not. Bugger. This game's hard, Chris. I know. Those things? Can I kill those? Oh, are you are you pressing? Are you holding down the mouse? Oh, am I supposed to hold down the mouse? Yes. Oh. Otherwise, otherwise you can't kill anything. <laughs> <laughs> also, your neighbor does a spark. <laughs> Love it. Wait, so your neighbor does a spark. Bugger! Those things keep spawning right on top of me. The mouse also. Yes. Because so if. Ha! I killed one! I think. Okay, so clearly there are too many enemies on the screen for me to play this reasonably. So let's do this. Yeah, the seeker. I hate those things. The tracer and the marble are the only ones you can kill because they're the only ones that glitch you there. Okay, so I can kill Mama Marble? Oh, good. And I can kill that thing? Why is it not dying? No, you can definitely not kill that. Oh, and now the marble's gone forever. Yeah, I thought it fixed that. Oh no! Oh, actually, I know exactly. And that thing. thing's faster than I am. Bummer. I, I, I called the marble on the very top, not on the reroll. So the seeker's no longer a seeker, it's just. You're doomed. Yeah, it just kind of it's catches you and kills you. For a okay, cool. <laughs> very nice, Chris. Um, the one thing I wanted to look at was the Violent Seekers. That's the little thing that rotates. So this is a little bit this is a little bit math heavy, but what we have is one variable that increments by what is that? Basically one degree. Another variable that increments by a little bit more, and a l another variable that increments by three degrees, right? And so that's why those triangles rotate at different rates. And then we're actually adding those rotations up. So this is worth noting in the thing I showed you about pushing, right? If you do a push matrix, if you rotate and then rotate again, that is of course, a net rotation of the first rotation plus the second. So this thing by the end is getting rotated three times. You guys see that? And then all he's doing is displaying an image and then he's got some kind of nonsense about the size of that image that gets checked here. And that just makes him get bigger as you get closer to him. That's really rad. Cool. Show the graphics. The, uh, it's, oh, it's so this is the, yeah. Yeah, so this is actually a really cool thing. This is what makes, let me see if I can, oh, wait. So if you look at Mama Marble, see that swirling? See this kind of jet wash, like the swirling effect and all this kind of tracer trails behind most of the enemy types? That's this um, bugger. That thing's 
So what's going on there is that each layer is getting drawn over the top with a 10% transparency. So you can see a few layers back, which is a cool trick. So that's, uh, that's implemented using this, uh, where did it go? That's incremented or that's implemented using a P graphics variable type or a P graphics object, which you could play with if you wanted to make such things happen. Yeah. And then Chris, 